What if I got a Browning or an MG42, like, right now? That would be so funny. Oh! oh. I'm done. I'm done, guys. No, I'm done. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Blue Camps, coming at you with a kind of a new series on my channel. I don't know if I'm actually going to give this series a name, but let me just tell you what it is real quick. So as you can tell, I'm on World at War right now. I'm in the Zombies mode. And basically, I'm going to be going back and playing every single Zombies map, or at least Treyarch Zombie maps, from Call of Duty. Just because, you know, back in the day, I used to enjoy playing these. This was kind of how I got started on Call of Duty, mostly, mainly, I guess. It was just so much fun. And I kind of just want to relive that just a little bit. So basically what I'm going to be doing is zombie series. I'm going to play one game of one map for each episode. And if I die in a round, well, I die in a round and that's the episode. If I make it to 40 rounds, then I'll cut the crap out of it and just, you know, give you the best parts. But um, so every episode, I'm just going to go from one map to the next one. So after this, I'll do Verruckt and, you know, just on forth when, whenever they came out or whatever. So anyways, as a further ado, I don't know if that's how you say that, but either way, yeah, we'll just start this up now. Okay, wow, okay, I gotta get a solo. I'm an idiot. Alright, here we go. This game is just so creepy. I remember back in the day, like, me and my friends would play this. Like, I don't mean online, I mean, like, they'd come over to my house, because I had a PS3 at the time. And, uh, we'd play Nazi Zombies, and it would, we didn't have the map packs, we just played this one, but it was so scary, I, like five or six in the morning we'd stay up all night planet and you look outside and like the freaking um the fog outside would be like it would look literally the exact same as the fog on this map and it was just so eerie and creepy some people like some of my friends hated playing it i'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit but some of my friends just like they hated playing it i don't know why it was just like really scary to them and they wouldn't do it so here we go boys i might just make this like a cut com where i like i'll just cut out all the parts that i'm not talking in or maybe i'll just show highlights or I really don't know how I'm going to do this series, but I guess that's what's cool about it. I can just find a little, find my own little settings for it, I guess, once I get along, kind of like how I do it with most things. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that about me, but let me just tell you, since I have time, um, basically, like, I'm really just a, kind of a loner, I guess, when it comes to, like, making videos and doing YouTube and Xbox in general. Like, I really, like, I don't ask for help from other people. If I need help for something, I'll go on Google or YouTube. And I don't really talk to anybody, like, I normally do everything that I do on my own, like, I make my videos on my own, um, like, editing and stuff like that, and recording them mostly, um, <sighs> um, what am I trying to say, like, I, yeah, I just do basically everything on my own, I upload everything on my own, I make my thumbnails on my own, which I know I need to get somebody to do those, but at the same time, there's just a feeling of accomplishment when you make your own stuff, when you do your own thing, and I think that's what a lot of people need to understand about, not just me, but about, like, YouTube in general, like, stuff just feels so much better when you do it yourself. And I know they're not the best, but I mean, like, would I rather, like, have the most insane thumbnails for my videos, or would I rather have the feeling of accomplishment for doing it to myself and learning how to get better while doing them, you know? I literally almost went down right there. That would have been so stupid, dude. I really, I really hope I don't play one of these maps and I go down in like the first or second rounds. But I feel like I will when I get to like Shanker Law and all those freaking maps that I haven't played in so long. Oh, just playing this is just bringing up so many memories. I'm just gonna tell you guys about all of them. So basically, what I was just thinking about, like back when I was a kid, I was probably in crap. I was probably in third, fourth, maybe fifth grade, maybe older. I really don't remember. And uh, I, w I would go over to my grandmother's house while my parents had work because they didn't want to leave me and my brother um, alone at the house while they were gone. So they'd take me to my grandmother's house. And in my grandmother's neighborhood, there was this kid. Well, we had a bunch of friends over there, but there was this kid. And uh, he would stay at his grandmother's house sometime. But he lived in Tennessee, and like on the weekends and stuff, he would come down here to North Carolina and stay with his grandmother. So basically, we'd hang out a lot, and like, I don't know, we we're just pretty good friends. And I remember one time, or not one time, a lot of times, he would like, he would come over and. Uh, to my grandmother's house, I mean, and we'd just play Xbox or whatever, we'd play PS3 mainly at the time, and we would just play, um, we just played this map, Nazi, or Notch Day on Toten on Nazi Zombies, and it was actually so fun, but, like, the funny thing was, like, back then, like, I was so new to zombies and stuff, I didn't know any strategies or anything at all, so, like, when we played, we would literally just open the door to go upstairs, grab the trench gun over here, which is what I'm literally about to get, and freaking, um, 
we would literally just do this. We didn't know what the mystery box was. We'd never heard of it. We'd been downstairs, like, sometimes just to, like, look around and stuff. But mainly, like, we only got the trench gun. It was crazy when I go back thinking about it because, like, I don't know. Just, I don't know. It's just crazy to think about. Another thing I remember from back then, too, is, like, um... Crap, I don't even know what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember, um, like... We would get to round six or seven, maybe eight. I don't remember what round it is that the zombies start sprinting. But we would just like freak out whenever it happened and like we'd be so scared. And literally we probably wouldn't make it past that first round that they started sprinting. Sometimes we would, but mainly like we would only get to round like eight or something. And we would get we would play like for like hours at a time and just like keep trying to like not really do better, but just keep trying to have as much fun as we could. And it was actually crazy because like it was honestly so fun. Like honestly, if I could go back to any like point of time of me playing video games. It would probably be this time to be honest. Not back to MW2 where I would trick shot all the time with my trick shot friends and do six mans when clips were actually fun to play for and hit and stuff. I mean that was all fun, don't get me wrong, that was a really fun time, but honestly like this was the most fun crap ever. Just you and a friend playing split screen zombies and if any of you guys out there have never been able to experience that then I honestly feel so sorry for you because I mean back then like Xbox Live wasn't really like a cool thing like I mean it was pretty cool and stuff like Xbox Live was pretty awesome you could talk to people online play with people and stuff but back then like split screen was like everything like any game that was split screen or like just where you could play with two people at one time was just amazing alrighty we're going downstairs boys we're going downstairs if I hadn't played this so much, like, if I just started playing this now, like, this is my first time playing this, I feel like this probably would be pretty scary, because this place is so freaking creepy. I mean, just look at it, you know? It's just so scary, to be honest, but I mean, like, I'm just so used to it, it's not scary at all. Oh, speaking of scary, let me tell you guys about something. I'm also starting this new series, I'm going to tell you this now before I actually upload it. I'm going to start doing this new series where I go on the marketplace and I find $1 indie games and I play them and just like kind of review them but at the same time just kind of have fun and make funny videos out of them. And uh, I found one already, I haven't done it yet, but I haven't played it yet, but I found one. I don't remember what it's called, it's called like something monastery or I don't know. But it's it's basically like a jump scare game. Like I, I think in the game from the description I read, you're basically going through this monastery which is like a really old church. I just died. Okay, well, you're going through a monastery on this really creepy church or whatever, and uh, it's basically a jump scare game. Okay, we're going to play one more zombie game, dudes. Frick that. I'm just going to skip to round five after I talk about this, but um, yeah, you just freaking, you go through this monastery and it's just a jump scare game. Kind of like white noise, like stuff will, like, I think someone's chasing you, maybe like demons or something like that, but either way, I feel like it'll be really cool or really scary, and I don't know. It'll be really awesome. Twelve seconds later. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we are back here on round 5, and I know I said if I died in an early round, that would be it, that would be the video, but honestly, that is just way too soon for me, so I think I know what I'm going to do. Every single game that I play, like, whether it's World of War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, I think I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to give myself one freebie to where if I die, I can continue playing or something, like, from where I was, so I think I'm going to do that for each game, so my one for World of War is now up, because I just used it. So it's whatever. But anyways, you guys really didn't miss anything from me playing. All I did was do literally the exact same things I did before, except I got a PTRS this time, not a freaking rocket launcher. If I had died right there, oh my gosh, I would have flipped. Alrighty, there we go. We're on round six officially. Sweet. Yeah, I remember when I started playing this back in the day. I remember it said, like, how it says right there, you must ascend from the darkness. I remember, like, me and my friends just took that as, like, you shouldn't stay downstairs or you're gonna die, basically. Which, maybe that is true. Maybe that's what the creators wanted us to think. Who knows? But either way, I don't know. But I remember the strategy literally back in the day, as I said before, is just come up here, grab the trench gun, and camp back there. And then when I started playing online with people, the strategy was open that door down there, get the mystery box, come up here, and then camp in this corner, and not open those stairs right there. So, I don't know, strategies change. I remember one strategy, which is what I'm doing right now, actually, is open around and then go down to the mystery box so that the door down there isn't open so that you can defend yourself easier. So that they're only coming from, like, in the room and from uh, the staircase, not the door right next to you. So you can camp towards the box, which is a lot better because if you need a new gun or something, you know, you can just hit it up real quick. No, 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 I don't really know what the best strategy for zombies is, but that's probably one of the best. 
Oh, I'm probably just going to hit up the box and not take what I get. Unless it's like a MG42 or a Browning or a ray gun. Anything else, not taking it. Okay, that was actually crazy. Okay. What if I got a Browning or an MG42 like right now? That would be so funny. Oh! No. What the hell? I'm done. I'm done, guys. No, I'm done. I'm done. We basically just beat zombies. When you can call both weapons that you just got, that is when you know you have just beaten zombies. Okay. Now I could die and not even care. I could die literally right now and not give a crap. But I'm not going to do that, so. I might just camp, to be honest. I might just camp right here, because... I don't know, it's only round 7, even though they started running now, that's great. It's like, feeling in playing zombies, like, the only time I ever feel safe is when, like, there's nothing, when I know nothing can come from behind me. That's the only time I ever feel safe. I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's definitely true. I would try to train, but honestly, I hate training on this game. Um, Black Ops 1 would be great, best training game ever. Um, you can just train so easily, especially on this map with a remake or whatever. Like, I don't know why, I just feel different. Like, when I train in the remake and then when I feel, when I train on this, it just feels a lot different. I don't really like it. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy how I got both the guns that I, like, said I, like, that'd be crazy if I got in a row, too. That was honestly insane. You know, I don't know why, but lately I've actually been starting to feel like getting back on the daily up upload grind. I can't even talk. I think I felt like getting in the back, back, so look at this, dudes. I can't even, I'm just... Okay, sorry. There. I don't know why, but lately I feel like I need to be getting on the daily upload grind once again. And I don't know, I think it's working out. I think I've made some pretty good videos in the past few days. None that are like just uploaded just to get something up. I think they're all pretty like pretty decent videos that you guys would enjoy, even if it's just a cut com. But I mean, you know, I, I feel good about those uploads. I don't like uploads where I just upload them because I don't know what else to upload or I think I need an upload, you know? That's not what I want for my channel. And really, the only times I've ever wanted to, or ever, like, had to do that, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, so. I apologize if I ever upload something again like that. I will try my best not to, so, yeah. Look at that reload knack. Do you guys see that? I think I reload knacked. I think that's how you do it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was a reload knack. I mean, I was reloading, and it just automatically switched. Who knows? Look at that, you can't do it like that, see? Oh, I don't need double points, forget it. I've never seen the reason for having double points in Notch Terran Toten unless, like, you need a gun. But I literally don't need anything. So, and I have a decent amount of points because I do need a gun. So, I think we're good. That's what I hate about this map. Like, there's just a point where you get so far to where, like, you don't even need, like, half the crap that you have. Like, I mean points. You don't need, like, half the points that you have and it's just really pointless. Look at this, bros. Round 10. We're getting somewhere. We could make it to around like a thousand or something. Oh, speaking of that, actually, I remember back in the day, me and my friends were like, we'd all make up different crap about Notch Darren Toad and stuff. And we'd be like, oh yeah, if you get to round 100, freaking a Hitler zombie comes. And it, he's like, he's like unbeatable. And we were just like, no way. But we actually believed it. Everybody who we'd tell that to or who told us stuff, like, we would just believe every freaking word of it because we were stupid. Pretty sure we're going to die this round, boys. Pretty sure we're definitely going to die. Almost out of ammo on my MG42, and there's still lots of zombies coming. Okay, now as I say that, awesome. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Oh, I did not see him there. How did he even get there? There was, like, no explosion or anything. Are you serious? That actually doesn't make any sense. Alrighty, whatever, guys. I guess that ends the first episode on the zombie series. I hope you guys do enjoy, and uh, leave a like down below. It supports me so much, and leave your comments, as always. I love you guys. Reading your comments is great. And I will see you bros later. It is, you've been your butter blue cams. Peace out, guys.